What do you mean, what do I mean, I don't know? I don't know what my favorite flavor of Gatorade is. Like, give me my Gatorade history, okay? I, I drank it after uh, softball practice two times a summer for eight years as a kid. And then um, I drank the Gatorade orange powder in university as the cheapest per unit hydration solution post hangover. So I wouldn't really trust my, uh, I wouldn't trust my, my taste buds in that situation, though that was consumed under duress. And then I consumed an entire uh, container of Gatorade Arctic Blast light blue powder when I had Salmonella and uh, Campylobacter. So again, I, I consumed it under duress. I didn't consume it for taste-based reasons. And then since then, I would say like once a month, if I walk uh, our, our daughter outside in the stroller for her nap, I will get thirsty enough to buy like a Gatorade G2 or Gatorade Zero or whatever it's called. And I just, I mean, my, my preference for sport drinks, I got to say that it's like, like white flavor. If I get a Popsicle, I'd love it to be white flavor. A freezy. I don't know if you do if you call them freezies in America, but like uh, an ice pop. I want it to be white flavor. A Powerade, a Gatorade, um, all that stuff. I don't I don't know what flavor it is. It's like a melange of of different fruit acids. I'm a big watermelon guy too. Like if I'm getting a, a coconut water or something like that that has flavoring added. I'll take a watermelon, or can I tell you, you don't see it that much, but you know what hits crazy is um, guava. You got to go to Whole Foods for that. You're not going to find that at your average save on foods. But if you can get like a, a sparkling guava juice or something like that, it goes pretty hard. It goes pretty hard. I'm just, I, I'm probably not the first person to discover it. I'm just saying.